Hello and welcome to the Magic of Mathematics channel. My name is Manohar Murthy and you are watching one amongst a series of videos exploring the world of mathematics. In this video, I intend to examine the rationale behind the fact that the product of the HCF and the LCM of any two numbers equals the product of the given numbers. I will take up an example to examine the rationale and using the example establish the fact that this is a generic property applicable to any two numbers. I will assume here that you know how to use the prime factorization method to find the HCF and LCM of a given set of numbers. For my illustration, I will take any two numbers say 1400 and 8820. I will now use the prime factorization method for finding their HCF and LCM. For this, I need to prime factorize both the numbers. When I prime factorize 1400, I get 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 7. And when I prime factorize 8820, I get 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 7. I will now use the two prime factorizations to find the HCF of the given numbers. For finding the HCF, I need to do two things. Firstly, identify the occurrences of each prime factor from the prime factorization where it occurs the least number of times and secondly, multiply the occurrences so identified. From our prime factorizations, we can see that 2 occurs in both prime factorizations but occurs lesser number of times in the second prime factorization as compared to the first prime factorization. Hence, I will underline the occurrences of 2 in the second prime factorization. I will use a similar logic to underline the occurrences of 5 and 7 in the prime factorization where they occur the least number of times. 3 does not occur in the first prime factorization and hence occurs the least number of times, namely 0 times in the first prime factorization. So, I do not need to worry about the occurrences of 3. I now need to multiply the occurrences of prime factors that I have underlined to get the HCF. Hence, the HCF of the given numbers equals 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. Now, I will use my two prime factorizations to find the LCM of the given numbers. For finding the LCM, I need to do two things. Firstly, identify the occurrences of each prime factor from the prime factorization where it occurs the most number of times. And secondly, multiply the occurrences so identified. From our prime factorizations, we can see that the prime factor 2 occurs the most number of times in the first prime factorization and hence I will underline the occurrences of 2 in the first prime factorization. By a similar logic, I will underline the occurrences of 3, 5 and 7 in the prime factorization where they occur the most number of times. I now need to multiply the occurrences of the prime factors that I have underlined to get the LCM. If I do this, I end up with the LCM of the given numbers as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7 times 7. If I now multiply the HCF and LCM, product of these 2s, these 5s and this 7 will give me 1400 and product of these 2s, these 3s, this 5 and these 7s will give me 8820. Hence, I have shown that the product of the HCF and LCM of the numbers that I took up equals the product of the numbers. It is easy to see why this happened. For finding HCF, we identify the occurrences of a prime factor from the prime factorization where it occurs least number of times. Whereas for finding LCM, we identify the occurrences from the prime factorization where it occurs most number of times. Since we are dealing with the prime factorizations of two numbers, a prime factor which occurs most number of times in one of the prime factorizations will automatically have least number of occurrences 
in the other prime factorization. Hence, when we multiplied the prime factorizations of the LCM and HCF of the given numbers, for each prime factor, we ended up with their occurrences in the prime factorizations of both the numbers. This resulted in us getting a result equal to the product of the given numbers. It is easy to see that this logic would apply no matter what numbers we choose. And hence, we can say that the product of the HCF and LCM of any two numbers equals the product of the given numbers. In this video, I examined the rationale behind the fact that the product of the HCF and the LCM of any two numbers equals the product of the given numbers. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.